Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at pay stubs in what's called a T4 slip. Um, so uh, we're not going to go deeply into it, but it's just looking at a pay stub and how to read them, right? So um, let's look at example 10. This will be the final video though too for uh, 8004. So um, it says a pay stub is a statement of a person's uh, earning and deductions for a certain pay period. Many pay stubs include information from year to date. So if you see YTD, it's year to date. So the calendar year beginning on in January. So uh, reading pay stubs on a pay stub above how many hours overtime work? So you can see it's overtime at a rate of $25 per hour uh, for five hours, right? So how many hours John worked? Uh, copy John worked five overtime hours, right? Okay. And obviously, this one here looks like it wasn't at a uh, one point. It wasn't at one point five, right? It wasn't at fifty percent over, right? So it's just going to be a, a different amount. But that doesn't matter. Um, that's just me thinking out loud. On the pay stub, what was John's gross income for the pay period? So the pay period here is this information. So not year to date gross. So current total is probably what we're looking for here. All right, so the current total was what he worked, right? So it would have been the 1600 at regular pay and the 125 overtime, so 1725. So on the face of what was John's gross income for the pay period? So I'll just copy this. John's uh, gross income for the pay period was uh, $1,725. Okay, and there we are. On the face of above, um, what were John's total deductions for the pay period? So the total deductions for the pay period is right here uh, at 430, uh, 34. It's right here, okay? So it would have been adding all these up. CPP, EI, income tax, union dues, life insurance, long-term disability, and uh, Canada savings bonds. All right, so 430, uh, 34. So John's, see this? John's total deductions for the pay period were... 430, 34, all right? And the pay sub bill was John's take home pay, so that's the net pay, all right? So that's uh, 1294.66. So John's take home pay or net pay was uh, 1294.66. 1294.66. $1,294.66. On the face of above, what are John's year-to-date deductions? So the year-to-date deductions are right here, 9,897.82. So John's year-to-date deductions were 9,897.82. Yeah, 82. Okay. So just navigating through a, a, um, a pay stub, right? Looking around and getting an idea. The next example we're going to do is looking at a T4. The T4 is what your employer issues you, um, and it has to be done by February, the last day in February um, of each year. Um, this has to be given to you. So um, this one is a document. You'll notice there's different boxes. So box 14 is your employment income. Uh, box 22 is your uh, income tax that's deducted. Um, and box 16 is your CPP contributions. Box 18 is your EI. So those are the three main deductions on your pay, and that's normally what most people will see on the T4 slips. All right. So we're going to answer some questions uh, regarding this. So it says, what is Sonia's gross pay? Gross pay is in box 14. That's called the employment income, line 101. And that is $29,750. Uh, okay. Uh, and you could write a sentence. I'm not going to uh, in the interest of time. What is uh, assigned to total deduction? So that's where you're going to add up the long, box 22, 16, and 18. So total deductions. In this case, in Sonia's case, there were three. So it's going to be CPP plus EI plus um, 
income tax. Okay. All right. Rick equals CPP amount was in box 16. That's $1,299.38. The EI box 18, which is $559.30. And the income tax is $4244.02. Now, when I do my income tax, I use a program called uh, TurboTax. It's uh, very simple. It's not in the, uh, it's basically in a uh, question form. It's really good. In a lot of these places, these T4s, you don't have to manually enter them anymore. They'll put them on, they'll give them to you, and you can go online and they can just upload them to this program. It's pretty neat. That's what I do. Uh, saves me time. Okay. So I'm going to add those three amounts up. 12.99 decimal, or decimal 3A plus 5.59 decimal 3 plus 4.244 decimal 02 for a total of 61.02.70. All right. So there's your total deductions. For Sonia, so it's your CPP, EI, and income tax. That was the only things that were on this. It was a pretty brief. Um, this would be your common T4 that you would have, like if you just had a part-time job in school. Not a whole lot of deductions. So our net pay we know is right. Net pay is equal to uh, gross pay minus total deduction, right? Okay. So to get the um, gross pay was right here. And the, oh, sorry, I did this. I'll just put in 29750 minus the deductions which we just calculated 6102.70. So the net pay is equal to subtract these 29750. Track 6102 is 236430. So 23,000. You put your dollar in your final, right? Final answer. And there you go. All right. So that's going to be it for uh, this video. In the next video, we're going to look at other forms of income, salary, commission, and piecework. So that is just a, you know, a crash course on looking at a T4 slip and the deductions. All right. I do my own taxes. Some people get somebody other to do them, but I feel like uh, it's not that difficult, um, especially when you have a program like uh, TurboTax and you're not having many other deductions. If you have your own business and different things, it becomes much more complicated. But for someone like me who's a, a salary employee, or I get the T4 dollars information, the only other uh, deductions I have to look at is I, or what I have to add into a T4. And when I do my income tax, I guess I should say, is... I look at, I have RRSPs, so that's just something else. But again, these programs let you go through it. But it's still nice to, to get an idea and an understanding of what these uh, do, right? But Because a lot of them had to be done by hand. But now everything is done usually on a computer, as you guys are aware. Look what we're doing right now, right? So that's it for 8.4, gross and net pay. And uh, in the final video of the course uh, is going to be 8.5, other forms of income, salary, commission, and uh, piecework. Uh, I left an M out there. I spelled commission. Just notice that now. All right. So that's it, and um, we'll talk again soon, folks. Thanks so much. Bye for now.